Hi guys, it's Mark from anypond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And today I'm super excited because I'm at Emotional Farm Pond. And what we're doing today is we're removing reeds. The reason why this is an emotional farm pond for me is it's because my grandfather was a tenant farmer here. He died 29 years ago. The guys that own the pond now invited me to come with my team to remove some of the reeds. And it was an opportunity that I could not miss because there's a lots of emotion around this farm pond. And I just wanted to share it with you. Here we are doing a reed removal job. As you can see, we've removed probably 80% of the reeds out of this pond today, just leaving the centre bit for the coots and moorhens to nest in in the spring. There's quite a few resident bird life here, so they'll appreciate that in the spring. A bit chilly today, but we had all the gear and the dry suits and the neoprene gloves, so that was all good. As you'll see from the photos we took before, it was quite neglected and overgrown of reeds, and we've now Made a big improvement, let some more wind and sun get onto the water to improve the water quality. Reeds are being left here for the owners to sort out. So one of the challenges when you're removing bulrushes is to get, you can see here, the rhizome can travel quite a long distance with one plant with all the little separate reeds coming off. So when you're removing reeds, you need to make sure you get the, the rhizome underneath as well as the reed itself. That way in the spring, it won't all just shoot up in the same place that it was because you've removed the rhizome which is in the bottom. Any questions leave them in the comments or if you're interested in what we've been doing today or if you've got a pond yourself that needs some reed removal or just a general tidy up, get in contact.